Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Collar TV. Um, Adam Sol, England drew in their final Group B game with Slovakia at 0-0 after Roy Hodgson rested the likes of Wayne Rooney, Kyle Walker and Deli Ali, and even Harry Kane from his side as well. He still started a strong side, you would think. Vardy, Storage, those kind of players. But still, the failure to pick two of his best players that have been playing in the first two games, Kyle Walker and Wayne Rooney, surely must be questioned given the fact that England didn't get the full three points from a game that they should have. Little bit unlucky, yes, Slovakia didn't really play for the win. They defended a lot. They sat back. Storage missed a good opportunity, but... All in all, England didn't really have that many great opportunities. They brought on Wayne Rooney, they brought on Harry Kane, but it was too little too late. And England failed to make the pressure count and take three points. Wales, on the other hand, beat Russia 3-0 with a resounding victory. Bale, Ramsey, Taylor. Ramsey opened the scoring as well. It was a comfortable victory for them, which means they now top the group. I watched the England game. I didn't watch the Wales game. So obviously... Um, I don't really know how they played or whatnot, but the scoreline says it all. 3 0, comfortable result for them. They finish top of the group, despite the fact England beat them in the last game. And now England finish second, which means they'll play the runner up in um, Portugal's group. So that could potentially be Portugal as it stands. Although if Portugal beat Hungary, then it'll be Hungary or Austria. But. If England get Portugal, now I know I'll come on to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal a little bit later because I've been away for a few days. I was doing the daily videos on the Euros and then I went to France myself as well and the upload stopped. So I'll fill you in on my thoughts on the other results that have gone by. But um, if England get Portugal and Ronaldo's up for it, England are getting knocked out. Simple as that. So that failure to pick the strong enough tide was a silly one for me by Roy Hodgson and again shows why he's out of his depth being England manager. I've never really been certain on him and I don't think he should have been here um, after the World Cup. So yeah, strange decision today. And why are you resting players when your top spot isn't guaranteed? It's not like we beat Russia. We did the same against Russia, dominated, didn't take our chances. Dominated today, didn't take our chances. But you've got to play your best players doesn't make any sense. Wilshire, rubbish. Henderson, rubbish. Wasn't good enough for England today. Especially, ah, oh, it's really frustrating. Anyway, what football have I missed or I haven't missed, but I haven't made a video about since I've been gone. On Friday, Spain beat Turkey as Morata opened his um, European Championship scoring and got two goals and he's looking good up front for Spain now. Obviously in the first game, he had his chances, didn't take them, but was making all the right moves and um, getting into the right areas. And he did that well against Turkey, who have failed to perform really. A lot of people were saying it was their dark horses. I know it's a difficult group, shown by the fact that Croatia were leading 2-0 and threw away two points against Czech Republic, who came back into the game and got a 2-2 draw. So it's obviously a difficult group, but Turkey haven't lived up to their expectations. But with Morata getting those goals, he will be buzzing. Spain will be flying now and they'll be looking a threat Adair got a late winner for Italy against Sweden, which means they're all but out, barring a victory in their final game against Belgium. So, Belgium looking good as well. Lukaku's scoring now. They beat Ireland 3-0. Um, I was in France for that game. I didn't have a ticket for the match, but I was in Bordeaux, mingling with the Irish fans and the Belgium fans. You can check the video out on JD Football as well. And of course, I'll have a vlog on Full Time Devils, which will be coming up tomorrow or the day after. So go and check those videos out. But I was there. It was a great atmosphere between both sets of fans. And of course, unfortunately, Ireland lost. It was Lukaku with the two goals and Axel Wissel got a goal as well, which meant it was a 3-0 victory and pretty, pretty comfortable for Belgium, who will now be confident of going through in the group following their opening day disappointment when they lost against Italy. They now get three points on the board and their, their fans were definitely confident even after that victory, um, that defeat, sorry, against Italy. So now They'll be feeling a little bit more confident. Their players will probably get into their rhythm. Eden Hazard, Lukaku, etc. They've got some dangerous players. Kevin De Bruyne as well. So, they guys will be looking very, very good. One thing from that game though. One thing from that game that really, really pissed me off. Look at this. 
Now, you know who that referee was? The same referee that sent Nani off in the Champions League against Real Madrid for this. It makes absolutely no sense. What is he doing? What is he doing? Yes, that decision still pisses me off. It still hurts me to this day, but how, how is it the same referee? Just doesn't make any sense. I know what he should do. Drop the EY out of his first name. Suits him better. And then Iceland in Portugal's group got a point against Hungary. They took the lead through Sigurdsson, threw a penalty and then Hungary got back into the game. Of course as well, the main talking point from that group from that day was Cristiano Ronaldo's frustration against Austria. Missed the penalty, missed a few opportunities and like I said before, it's obviously frustrating for Ronaldo. I predicted him to be top goal scorer. Looking like I'm going to be drastically wrong on that one now. And it was because I thought he had some easier opposition. Austria, Iceland, Hungary. Thought he'd get a few goals in that. 3-4 maybe. But it hasn't happened for him unfortunately. Um, and obviously he was looking very, very frustrated. He also looked really down. And it's like, it's a mark of the man that he takes so much on his own shoulders. But Portugal need to, I think... They play better if he was picking the ball up from deep and running at players. He needs to be running at players and he's just, he's standing up front so he's not coming into the game at all. And the final ball's never always right. Um, so I think they need to get more out of Ronaldo and play him in a more dangerous area. I know he plays up front for Real Madrid but they have better players in midfield and on the wing. So yeah, I felt sorry for him though. And um, like I said, don't write him off because... He has a good game against uh, Hungary. Portugal are through top of the group. Then whoever gets them, can't be certain that they're going to beat him because if he's on it, then he's capable of turning any team over. And then Sunday was all about France's group, the final day of their group. And France drew with Switzerland 0-0, which meant they went through. Funny thing from that game, Pogba, who was absolutely on it in that game, and it was unfortunate that he didn't score. He was all over the place. The pitch was awful. Everyone was dropping all over the place. But Pogba looked like he had a point to prove. And he ripped Granite Xhaka's top. And a funny comment from Xhaka after that um, about Puma saying he hopes they don't make condoms. Makes sense. And I can totally agree with him. Albania recorded a historic victory as well, which helps the likes of Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland in their search for going through as some of the best placed third sides. So good result for Albania and Albanians, a historic result for them and also good for the home nations and Ireland who still stand a chance of going through in third. Guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining us. Ultimately, disappointment for England um, having drawn, going through but in second and failing to make capitalise, make their pressure pay off against Russia and of course today against Slovakia. And they only have themselves to blame, especially Roy Hodgson, who should have picked the stronger side. Congratulations to Wales, who go through top of the group with Aaron Ramsey scoring. Let's hope no one dies, eh? <laughs> Guys, make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils. Ah, uh, full-time devils. This is Adam McCola TV. But anyway, subscribe to Adam McCola TV. Subscribe to Full-Time Devils. Like, comment and share. I'll see you later.